Hello, this is Father Randy Sly with another installment of Day by Day, where each day we take a look at a reading from Holy Scripture found in the Daily Mass. And today is Saturday of the 19th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Children were brought to Jesus that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked them, but Jesus said, Let the little child or let the children come to me, and do not prevent them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. After he placed his hands on them, he went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, basically we have a very, very short gospel. It's about two verses long, and then the final verse basically says that he laid his hands on them and went away. But there's this little tiny teaching here where Jesus is using these children that were brought to him. Obviously, again, we are in uh, Judea. We're on our way to the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. And he's uh, stopped in a town or a village and is doing some teaching. And as he is here uh, teaching these people, uh, of course, there's a great crowd uh, that's still with him, traveling with him. And uh, he's just been challenged by the Pharisees uh, concerning marriage and divorce. And what seems to be taking place is with the notoriety of Jesus and with just his his countenance, his persona, his personality, that uh, mothers were wanting him to bless their children, to pray for their children. And so these moms were bringing their children to Jesus. And as they did so, the disciples kind of pushed them off and didn't want them to, to do this. And it was, again, pretty customary at the time that when adults gathered that the children weren't supposed to be around. And, uh, you know, children were not to be seen, not to be heard at that point. But here, as these children were being brought to Jesus and the disciples were trying to push them away, Jesus invites them into his presence. Let the children come to me and do not prevent them. What a, a beautiful statement to families, because at this point, children were basically property of the families until they reached a certain age where they were productive, could work in the fields and could do other things. And so the, the status of a child was uh, very minimal, not much status at all. And yet at this time, Jesus invites the children not just to come to him, but to use them as an example, to use them as a symbol. For he said, the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. And so what he's saying here is that uh, in the kingdom, that the way to be a part of the kingdom is to develop a childlike approach to all that God is and all that he does. And again, there's a big difference, and we've seen this in other scriptures, the difference between being childish and childlike. So being childlike, being innocent, faith-filled, trusting, eager, all of these things, um, plus the idea of a relationship, of a love relationship, without any biases, just taking the other person on uh, the status of who or who they are. So that's what Jesus wants from his followers. He wants them to be childlike. A very different thing from being childish where you are uh, kind of uh, jealous, envious. You're uh, kind of wanting to get your way, uh, a little bit spoiled, and the, the list goes on and on and on. And that's the childishness that, that we put up with from, from kids uh, even today. But what Jesus is talking about is not those childish behaviors, 
but the childlike innocence and openness that is uh, in the realm, in the sphere of children as they come into such as the presence of Jesus, that we might do the same, that we might approach him in uh, faith, in trust, that we might welcome his input into our lives, knowing that he can guide us and direct us in the way we should go. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts together be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Well, I hope you'll take a few minutes today and just think about that childlike nature that our Lord wants us to have. That childlike nature makes so many things adventures and can help us to just quietly, confidently, and uh, with great hope, just see ourselves in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. So may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.